Good morning, Brew. We're launching another week yes. here. It's going to be a good week. And this is a, also a really great community to launch a business yes. and to launch an idea. And that whole concept is not lost on our youth. As evidenced by our wonderful guests here today, yeah. we have yes. a guest from Bosque School today. I'd like to introduce you to Thomas Abeda. He is 14, and he's part of a really remarkable program at Bosque Prep called Startup Teen. It's a, it's it's an organ organization that helps you guys to who have entrepreneurial vision make that come into fruition. Yes. And I'd also like to introduce everybody to Marisa Gay, and she's the Director of Communications and Marketing at Bosque. Good morning. Good morning. Nice Good morning. to see you. Yes. So you're an entrepreneur. Yes. And you're 14. How does that happen? How, how well, did that come I've about? I've always grown up in the uh, entrepreneur world because uh, both my parents, uh, they my dad's owned numerous companies, and uh, he's currently working for my mom who owns a who does all the, like the cities for um, the apps for the cities and such. Okay. So I've always just grown up around that kind of business world. So for me, I guess kind of just came naturally. Wonderful. Now tell us about your new. Uh, my company. Your company yeah. and your your new innovation. Uh, so basically, we saw a problem with that in the uh, mobile gaming world. There was no really controller based controller system for mobile games. That large companies were trying to come into the mobile gaming world, but it just wasn't working because the games didn't handle very well. Okay. So something that we developed is just a basic control system, an SDK that any programmer can use to plug into their game mm -hmm. and uh, just build the game right off of that. So, What is it called? It's called Slipstream. Slipstream. Yes. So then you have your control in your game. Yes. Instead of having to look for it or it doesn't have any charge in it or there's something that's you know, the because, workaround because you don't have the cause, controller. Because games aren't actually hard. Games are hard to develop on iPhone when you only have swipe, tilt, tap. Uh -huh. So this is kind of giving gamers more options for their gaming experience. And you developed this at Bosque? Uh, no, I'm actually not a Bosque student. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to uh, La Cueva. Oh, nice. Although I am working with a girl in town who also is, uh, who does go to Bosque and is definitely part of this project. I was very confused. Marissa, <laughs> tell me, help me out. Yes. <laughs> help me out of this. <laughs> the program that was uh, started was started by a Bosque school student, Taylor Chavez. And she uh, went to a startup weekend in Albuquerque, which was for adults, and was so excited by the, the idea and the concept that she came back to school and, and wanted to start a, a club through our service learning program called Startup Teen. And what the idea was to bring in students from every school, not just Bosque uh -huh. School, but to, bring, to put together a uh, startup teen weekend that emulated the regular startup weekend for adults because there were there wasn't an avenue uh, for people of an under 18 to actually present ideas and and uh, pitch businesses and learn all about entrepreneurship so we started that as a service learning project and thomas came over weekly to meet with us yeah. and helped us start the program and he was the only one in the the planning committee that was outside of bosky school but when we had the actual event last November, we had uh, students from nine different schools participate. Wow. Well, that's a good thing. So yes. Exciting. yes. That's a, where do you see this going? Well, I think there's a, you know, young people have a lot of ideas. Sure. And they have some amazing ideas. And we're just helping to foster uh, that enthusiasm and um, give them opportunities to see that um, there's all types of things that they can do in college that will help them. Um, whether they start a business of their own. There's very few people or a very low percentage of people who actually start a business, but the core competencies that you learn, um, learning uh, entrepreneurial education and uh, learning about starting a business can be used in any workplace, mm -hmm. in any profession. Well, Mark Zuckerberg's a great example, right? Yes. <laughs> was he a billionaire by the time he was 19 or something? <laughs> um, exactly. Well, I know that's an exception, but yeah. still, you can small scale a lot of businesses. And hey, maybe for teens, a summer job is running your own company of some kind. Exactly. Yeah, whether it's a small service company or some tech stuff like mm -hmm. you do, Thomas. Right. So we're just trying to get Sky's the ideas. I mean, yeah. they have they have the ideas. You know, yeah. You're just trying to help them organize yes. it and get it into. And, and even for students who may not have the actual business idea, they don't they don't necessarily have a product or a service that they're thinking about. But getting them involved in the program uh, and being part of that team that presents a, an end project at the end of the week is very important because you know they might be interested in coding, they might be interested in marketing, they might be interested in economics or 
finance part of a business and all of those things are important and when Thomas pitched his idea he needed a team to help him build right. his project and so people joined his team and they came up with the final pitch at the end of the weekend. How cool is yes. that? That's great. So really there's more to it than just the idea it's the structure it's putting the infrastructure around the idea and, and that's where this came in right Thomas? Um, yeah, wait, so what are you saying again? Sorry. Well, I'm, I'm saying that you've learned a lot about putting together not only in a team atmosphere, but the, the, the structure around the business idea that helps it all operate. Yes, definitely. And that's actually something that's great about these uh, startup weekends is that uh, not even just at the teen ones, but for all of them, a lot of people get to learn exactly what goes on within a business and such. So that's uh, really something that, uh, like, the teen, because when teens can go in there and actually start kind of experiencing this business world, they're definitely going to learn a lot from uh, doing that just because they uh, uh, have now ex a lot of experiences kind of forming those business plans and just the way everything is run. This is so great. I think this kind of program should be nationwide. Have you heard of this thing going on anywhere else in other It's catching markets? on. Um, these, these guys presented the first Startup Teen Weekend ever, and we, it was in correlation with the startup weekend that is global mm -hmm. in November and so we were excited to be the first. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. That's that's pretty much a national story. I mean I, I can't yeah. believe you're not on today but you're with us today <laughs> so that's even better. Um, you've got a, a, an event coming up, the Startup Teen Entrepreneurs. Yes. Uh, the Startup Teen Entrepreneurs is a program that is through the Bosky Summer Program and what we decided last fall when they did a weekend, I mean they went uh, very long hours over mm -hmm. a course of a weekend in the middle of the school year. And the students all said that it would be great to have one in the summer where they weren't uh, wor you know, so worried about coming back Monday morning with homework finished and getting back sure. into school. So we decided to develop a week-long program that would also be the startup pitch and working in their teams and all of that, but also encompass learning more about the um, economic development in the Albuquerque area and how small businesses can impact the economic development, learning from individuals who have started up business, and so in seeing uh, successful young people who have actually started businesses in the area. So the first two days of the program is going to give uh, students um, insight into that uh, landscape of the economic development and how small businesses fit into that in the Albuquerque area. They're going to meet with Gary Opadal, who is the economic development director yeah. for the city of Albuquerque. They're going to yeah. meet with a patent legal attorney. They're going to hear from uh, the different startups and just learn about the different types of businesses, whether it's an app or a sling for a dog, mm -hmm. uh, throwing a dog toy. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a, there's a variety of things that they're going to learn about in the first two days, and then they're going to pitch their business ideas and develop their businesses in teams over the next three days and then do their final pitches on Friday with a panel of judges and they'll have mentors from all over that will be helping them out during those three days. What an incredible opportunity. Yes, yes, definitely. Your parents must be so proud of you. Uh, well, yeah, they definitely are. So So this is keeping you very busy. Uh, most definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you both. I think it's a credit to Bosque School too Absolutely. that you include other students that you're just spearheading this and making the program go out to, to all students, Absolutely. not just Bosque students. And one of the great things is uh, we applied for a grant from the city's uh, EDAC Council, the Economic Development Council, and so we got a grant for scholarships. So the program, the week-long program costs $145, but we have several scholarships that are available to students what from New Mexico. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that people are aware of that. And they can go to the bosqueschool.org? Yes, go to bosqueschool.org and click on summer programs and it'll take you directly to the, the uh, website for the summer. Thanks for bringing this wow. to us. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. So nice Thomas. to meet you, Thomas. Mm -hmm. All the best. Very good. A lot of people are going to be working for him. Day, <laughs> I <you> think <laughs> so. <laughs> I think he's all right. I think you he know? is. That's uh, more on the morning group for you next, right after this time.